you know, to me, the honor system is really a reflection of the best things in this profession of law. All we have in this profession is our time, our credibility, and our effort. And the honor system allows our students to transition into practice in a setting that really reflects the self-regulated nature of our profession. So to me, it's, it's a freedom. I think daily we're reminded that the honor system works here um, in two places, actually. One is the library, and one is the brief stop, the lunch counter where the students eat. You know, if a student doesn't have money one day or forgets their card and can't pay, they can simply sign a card and come back by the end of the week and pay up for their lunch. You know, and then secondly, the library allows us to check our own books out. We can go in, we can self-check, we can take it to our office or to another place on campus, and if somebody needs it, they can come follow up and get it from us. I think that's virtually unheard of in any other law library in this country. So we're daily reminded of how the system works here. You know, I think of this in two ways. First as a student and now as a faculty member. As a student, I really felt like it allowed me to do my best work and it allowed me to collaborate with my classmates and my colleagues on turning in our best work product. I, I can't quite describe how it gave me that freedom, but that's what, what I referred to before and I felt that that was so. As a faculty member, I think it allows me to welcome students into the profession in a, in a mode that they'll be operating in for the rest of their professional lives for the next 50 years. And, and so, again, it allows me to engage them at a different level than I think I could simply in a classroom. Yeah, wow, there are so many things. Um, one is that I get to work with young, enthusiastic law students. You know, my time has been spent primarily in the clinical world, and so we, ha we serve a lot of public interest needs throughout the Valley. And the students who come to that program have generally been very enthusiastic about their work. They come to law school to work with people and to help people. And the first thing we do is sit them in the classroom and teach them civil procedures. So they're always eager to come to the clinic and actually engage with the client and really help people resolve their issues. I, I have to say I think it's the community. And by community, I don't just mean the professors and the students. I mean our buildings and grounds personnel. I mean our support staff. I mean everyone here. We really are like a large family in that we work together to support our students, to support our missions, to help each other out. And it has been astoundingly rewarding to get to know these people over the past 25 years. Boy. Um, I, I think it kind of comes back to what we started talking about. It comes to character and the honor system and, and the imbuing of professionalism from the first day you're on this campus. You are not an abstract number in a crowd. You may know I did my undergraduate work at UC Berkeley. So I was at Cal for four plus years. Um, and it was a very different experience from Washington and Lee. It threw me a little when I first got here. My professors noticed if I wasn't in class, or they noticed maybe if I wasn't well or if things were going on, and my classmates noticed. And that was an astounding experience for me. But it made me realize that my professional life began the day I started school here, and it really was something I was eager to adopt and, and to jump into.